So hello there people of the internet, this is ShadowGear6035 here, doing a review of Morden, a classic space transforming and combining robot mock. It's kind of weird, right? Like I make robots on this channel, like so often, but I never make anything made of system, like the natural bread and butter of what LEGO is. And this is probably the first system mock that I made in a very long time that I took very seriously. I made up like a pink Necrospherian not too long before I made this, but it was something that it was a system mock I tried to form into a Bionicle mock. And this is just me working with system as a whole, except for four little left arm bits used to connect those thrusters and the big guy. But um, yeah, this is Morden. Uh, if you understand where that name came from, then good on you. Um... So, with this, uh, this was not intended to, like, this is going to be a robot man, and I didn't intend for him to split apart into different ships, but the more I built him, I'm like, well, you know, that looks like that, and that kind of looks like that, and I probably, if I do this, oh, I can do this, and combine that together, and if I put the, these leftover bits on this guy, then boom, I have a bunch of ships, uh, kind of like a vehicle Voltron type of thing, They're right? like, hey, look, here are these nine ships, whatever. Uh, so, what I'm going to do with this is that I'm going to review each type of design ship separately, and then I'm going to do the combination process, and then show the robot mode. So, to start off with that, I'm going to take these guys out of the way, and then go on with these little boat-shaped ships, which, uh, I'm not going to deny it, look like boats. These look like boats you ride on the ocean with. And, uh, you know, you can get away with it if you could, if you could flip this over. It kind of looks more like a ship, maybe a little bit, but it, that, that's the design. That's what I got. <laughs> Again, some of these were not intended to look like spaceships to begin with. Some of them were, some of them were not. But, um, you know, it's got the, it's got the, the visor, wind, like, trans yellow windscreen. It's got a little cargo on the back. There's some form of a thruster. I think it gets the job done. I mean, it does look like a, like a boat, but... You know, it does what it needs to. Uh, the same thing can be said about these little pill-shaped guys. Um, which, if you were to flip them over, you kind of can tell what they're meant to be part of in terms of the body. But they're cute. These little, you know, it's got the windscreen, it's got the colors right. Um, it just makes no aerodynamic sense. Well, not aerodynamic, it's space. <laughs> that makes no sense. There's no air in space! Ah! Um... It's got these funnels on the front, which I guess can be used, like, maybe a little car vacuum. I'm improvising, and it's really bad today, so I'm going to move on to the next guys that were actually designed to look like ships. So these little guys, um, spoiler, are the lower legs of this robot guy. And I want them to intentionally look like spaceships. Because the original concept is that he was going to be poseable enough to where, he, if he were to kick, a spaceship would kick at the person as opposed to a foot. Because <laughs> you would have this fold up, and then this would be the leg, and then it would go pew, and then it would turn into a spaceship, and then, you know, attack someone. Uh, they're a little bit bizarre. The wings on all the way in the bottom look a little bit bizarre. Uh, this little slope bit here. Um, I only had that because it matched with this. Um, so it looks a little weird, but it looks like a spaceship. You know, it does what it needs to do. And now for the ones that definitely do not look like spaceships. That's these. Um, yep. <laughs> so I don't, I guess I just call these like snake ships, kind of, because they can, well, not there. But if I, if I pull this peg out a little bit, I can swerve them back and forth like this, and then they can turn. And not focus, because you can't see jack of anything. There we go. Then they can do this, and whatever. Push it in, it's just a single line of a ship. I mean, the, this is kind of like, oh hey, here's what I have left over, what can I use with these? Um, but they, they can look like spaceships if you want to. Like, this is more so... In terms of what Lego used to be like, like you make something that does not look like it's supposed to, but use your imagination. Is that lazy of me? Yeah, a little bit. So I'm gonna put those off to the side and get to the star of the show, which is the big main ship, which uh, was the thing where I'm like, I have all these leftover bits, like some hands and a head. 
what do I do with them? I turn it into this. Um, so if I flip this upside down, uh, you can tell what's going on there. And look, there's Morden's head. He's kind of staring down in space. And you look at the back, like, oh, look, there are his hands. And, like, if you can tell, like, oh, look, that's his waist. That's everything put together. But, like, looking at it, like, solid straight ahead or even, like, from the side, even a little bit from above, it looks like a cool, not Galaga type of video game ship, but, like, an old classic-looking ship that probably is more in the vein of an old classic space Lego spaceship from the 80s. So, yeah, that's that. And so I'm going to stop this video recording and go into another video recording talking about the combination process. So let's get on to doing that. So immediately after reviewing all the ships, I'm going straight into the uh, combination and transformation. Uh, starting off with the big guy because he definitely does a lot more stuff than the others. Uh, so starting off, I'm going to unpeg the head of Morden right there. I'll unpeg that, put that right off to the side. Um, next, uh, I'm going to take this giant block out of here. Which, also, all of it does not want to go with it. Not going to make that same mistake twice. I'm going to put that back on. And this is the waist and the hands and some other leg bits, parts formed into one block. Um, you can kind of pass this off as like some sort of weird looking ship on its own. Because, you know, it kind of could. But I like the way it looks combined with the bigger section. So I keep it that way, but uh, to disassemble it, you take off those weird little bits there, which will go on to the legs, and then you unpeg those, and these, once you unfurl the fingers, these become the hands. I also want to apologize for the autofocusing in these videos, because it is a little bit annoying, I know, and it's annoying for me too, I'm just trying to figure out how everything works. So there are the hands, and then there is the waist. We can flip that around. Boop. There's a waist. Um, the coolest part about this mock is the transformation of the torso. Because with this, uh, these little side bits here, you kind of fold those in. Make it a little bit more flush once it's in robot mode. And now you kind of like move the thrusters out of the way. And then one clear, one clear motion. Just take that, snap. And then, nice, clean-looking torso. Looking good. And then hit thruster bits. And you just kind of push him off to the side. And now he's got a little jetpack. Which, um, I guess it's in the vein of a classic space minifigure. Because they would have a jetpack that would look like this. And that carried over. Uh, move that bit back up. So you can plug the head on. Head on! And then there's his head. And then take this, and then go boop. And there's his waist. And so all of that's done. Gotta move on to the legs. So remember these bits? Remember these weird looking ships? Uh, they're actually the foot and the uh, thigh of Morden. You take that, put that bit right back on. That was, was there, moved it to here, because it looks better in vehicle mode, putting it there. Do that, separate those, and once again... Take that bit off, put it on there. Uh, not have that disassemble, because it is not meant to do that. That's not very kosher of you, Morden. Even though you are not a practicer of Judaism. <laughs> so, and then the ships that actually look like ships are, again, the lower legs. So you'll fold those wings up. And unfurl that peg there. And do the same for the other. And then you just kind of... Very simple. Just put the foot on there. And take one of these guys. And uh, with that type of connection, well, I guess there is another There's another Technic bit on here, I guess. This is the newer piece that I got from... Was it Rascal's Glider? Like one of the first Chima sets? Just take that. Just nice snap together there. Uh, do the same thing for the other leg. There's that. And then these side little bits that from the bigger ship, these guys, plug right, I'm going to zoom that up, plug right into that panumic piece that connects the hip to kind of fill in the leg once everything's connected. 
So then there's that. And you kind of push these down, and then we're going to connect these legs. So you take that. It's not the best connection doing it this way. I mean, he obviously can't really put his leg up because of the nature of the connection, but it does let him stand. It does let Morn stand a bit. There's that. Now we're going to move into the arms, which um, are, oh, I wonder what these are. These little bits here, just take these, peg these in with the new Mixel joints. Very nice and sturdy joints. Um, I guess I did make this around the time the first wave of Mixels came out. And then you take these bits, take these ships, flip them upside down, peg these onto the bottom. And then you just take the hands, plug these in, and then you're done. That's... that's Morden. Take him in the back a little bit. I'm gonna zoom out, and there he is! And you know what? He's not the most poseable guy in the world. Like, uh, he has... he does have a knee joint, which, you know, just... the knee literally just fell off. And he can tilt his feet and move back to forth and all that, like, it's fine. Uh, his hips are garbage, though. He can have them splay out. But as but if you have him try to freeform, his legs are just kind of weak because of the connection of the hips. Uh, which, again, is my fault entirely. But um, then the waist, um, it's a ball joint. Not the strongest thing in the world, but he is. He does have waist articulation. Uh, same, thing, same goes for his head. You know, it's, um, it's a single stud connection. But, you know, he looks up and down, can swivel back and forth, gets that done. It's a goofy-looking head, I'm fully aware, but I'll get to that in a second. The strongest joint on here are the shoulders, because these are the mixel joints. And, you know, you can't have his arm go all the way out. But he can, you know, swivels all the way around, and he goes inward a bit. It's nice. Elbow is a 90-degree bend, and he also can swivel here at the connection. And then the hand, you know... It's fairly obvious. He's got fingers and hanging. His wrist can tilt like that, and that's what he's able to do. Um, so the character of Morden. Um, I guess I wanted to. I originally just wanted to make a space guy, and then I decided when I made the head, I'm like, I'm gonna make him this. So he's just perpetually just happy all the time. Morden's happy, like. In the way where 80s Lego sets were, like, always happy, there were no real villains. Everyone was just having a good time. And Morden kind of just acts like that. So, he's just, he's just happy. He's so happy. And um, if I had to give you some form of voice that he has, uh, a one Benjamin Cossie. <laughs> who, if, ever we're gonna, if I'm ever going to put this guy in videos, I'm going to make Ben voice him. Because I feel like it fits perfectly. But, um... Yeah, no, that's Morton. He's got his little jetpack. Uh, in the original photos I took of him, he had a gun. I decided to take the gun off because it wasn't the greatest design, and it's okay that he doesn't have the gun. But again, you know, for someone that doesn't really pose, I think he looks pretty solid. Um, he's fell over a couple times, and you can only imagine what that's like for a system mock. But like in this just this type of pose, he's a solid-looking robot, robot man, and I'm just really happy of how you know how he came out. So, yeah, that is Morden, uh, my little classic space mock, and um, I might make more system mocks in the future, I'm not too sure. But um, considering how nice this came out, at least for a first attempt, um, I might just do more, I don't know. Huh. Well, anyway guys, this is Shadow Gear 635, and I'll see you folks another time.